Hey, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Where's your mama? Hey, you're so little. Hey, hey. Are you okay? Hey. I don't I don't know what to do. Are you alright, buddy? I'm nice. I'm nice. See? Hey. And let me touch you. You got some stuff on you. What you doing, little man? Hey. You're purring now. You got any ticks or anything? Where's your mama? What? I don't know what to do. I've seen this on YouTube plenty of times. I have no idea what to do. I'm not gonna just let him hang out out here. I don't know what to do. Why? Why are you alone? Oh, didn't mean to scare you. Come here. Hey, hey, psst, I'm nice. Well, he's definitely not feral. I assume that someone around here had a cat that had a litter and little man's got lost. Look how cute he is. He's so small. Look how big his paws are. Hey, buddy. Feel good? Scratch, scratch. I don't know what to do. You know, like, I have no, no idea what to do. Like, you hear that? That's a red-tailed hawk. If he walks across that field again, this man is dead. Like, dead, dead. How am I going with this guy? Hey, you like, the, you like the camera? See? Like, he gets out in the open. He's done. He's done, though. He's friendly. He's definitely not feral. I don't think he's feral. That's not a meow, buddy. That's death. <laughs> he does have a little cut on his face. Here, the camera seat. You see that? Okay. My boot's interesting. Where are you going? I don't know what to do. That's not a cat. <laughs> don't meow back at it. That's you turning into lunch, buddy. All right, so I got him some water, and the way he, uh, he reacted to seeing this dish, like, he knew it should be food. So this is, like, someone's cat. I don't know how to find out who this is. Hey, you want some water? Like I said, he seems healthy. He definitely reacted to that like he knew food was coming. Bro, well, how'd you get lost? Why are you so interested in my phone? <laughs> I guess I'll make this an impromptu video. I was going to film something else right now, but when I came outside, I heard this little guy. I put on my Gale Force Twin shirt so I can make it think that I'm a nice person. He's so cute. I'm not going to keep him. Oh, got some water on your paw, buddy. You don't like that? You got a water guy? It's all right. I don't like my feet getting wet neither. And of course, every time I go, in, I go inside, he just starts meowing like he's being murdered, just waiting for me to come back out. So now, of course, I'm attached to it. I know what to do. Hey, buddy. This is... Oh! <laughs> you doofus. He stepped in the... <laughs> We're lacking spatial awareness, aren't we, buddy? Meow. 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 What? Temperature's finally dropping in South Louisiana. It was actually, like, chilly last night. Fishing should be getting really good soon. That's a plus. October is pretty much booked full. We got a couple trips mid month and also November. But it's about to pick up big time. And now I have a cat on my hands that I feel responsible for now. Because there's a red tail hawk waiting for him. Bless you. Bless you again. Bless you again. Damn. You allergic to me? Why are you sneezing, dog? Bless you again. I don't know what to do. Definitely not going to name it. Then I'm going to get really attached. But I ain't going to let him just, like, peace out, you know? That's a little baby. Scared little baby. <laughs> Bless you. Why are you sneezing? Sneeze attack? Because there's something on your whiskers? Hey, here, let me help you out. Okay, there you go. That better? You happy now? You going to sneeze? Why are you so interested in my phone? Oh god, this thing is so cute. And he could be from he came from he came from over there. On this side is just a giant field of nothingness. And there's the red tail hawk again. Reminding me why I can't leave this guy outside. Bro, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. I guess I'll ride around and see if Someone lost you. He's clearly been fed. He definitely had a Pavlovian response to a dish being brought out to him. So he knows what's up with that. 
So my man's has a house somewhere. Where? I don't know. I can't just leave the damn thing out here, though. Oh, we're climbing. We're climbing. I'm not bringing you inside. I don't know if Bob or Colby is allergic to you. I came from a house that had uh, my mom and my brother very, very allergic to cats. I definitely don't want to make the house unlivable for them. I have no freaking clue what to do, guys. Oh. I don't even know what to feed you. Why are you, why are you licking me? Why do you, why do you like my pinky? Yeah, I don't even know what to feed him if I have to. He's not starving. He's pretty, you know, he's pretty healthy weight, it seems, I guess. I'm not no veterinarian or cat expert, but he's not famished. I think he just went exploring and overexplored. Little man's just super curious. He's very cute, though. Careful. Oh, <laughs> he got in the water again. <laughs> Bro, spatial awareness. <laughs> in it. Oh, he's, not, he's got like a little cut in his mouth. Bro, every time I talk about it, you're sitting still and then you stop. But look, he's got a little cut right there. Uh, bro? You ain't gonna find nothing you want under there, just a bunch of spider webs. What'd you find? All right. Find a lizard? Oh, bro, you almost stepped in some ants. That would have been not great, Cap. Oh, shit. are they on you? Bro, you just stepped in a bunch of fire ants. You gotta look where you're stepping. Spatial awareness, negative 10. Oh, wait, of course he's following me everywhere now. What do I gotta do? I say that and he hangs out over there now? Yeah, I know. His meows per minute is directly correlative to the distance I am from him. The farther away, the more meows I get. Isn't that nice? I need to make some calls. I'm gonna, I guess, dude, I'm gonna have to drive you around and like figure out where the hell you came from. Because if you're somebody's cat, I don't wanna give you away. Ooh, scratch. The cutest kitty that ever was. Apparently I like to scratch. I'm not a huge fan of that. Also, I've never had a cat before. What? Again with my phone. Hello, switching to GoPro. Bro, I'm right here. No, you're not coming inside, sorry. Sorry to tease you like that. I'm gonna reach out to my, oh God, to my friend Tristan, because he just had a kitten that uh, very tragically died. Aside from driving in this, driving around with this thing in my car, and like asking people on the street, Oh, God, you scared the shit of me. I almost kicked you. I thought you was a bug. Yeah, I think that's, like, my only other option. And he, like, has everything still. The cat just passed away. So, uh, might be a match made in heaven. And also, I found out about it last night, too. If I didn't hang out with him last night, I wouldn't have known. Now, the other thing is, if I drive around, I don't know what the hell I'm going to uh, put him in. Because he, I tried the box. He's not a fan of the box. Hopped right out. When I, when I pulled it out, he went and, and hid. Look, scratch this. Oh, yeah, he does. See, he's like, has a has box phobia. What? Golly. He loses sight of me for one second, and it, I think he's getting murdered. Bro, you good? You're the one that walked behind there? What you mean I'm getting murdered? Where the hell are you? I'm gonna figure out a plan of attack, which is a really lame way to describe the situation taking care of a very small kitten. Plan of attack for the kitty. Operation find cat home. I'm not gonna leave him here. I'm gonna lose him. I'm not putting him in my shed either, or my house. See, see what I mean? The uh, meows per second or meows per minute greatly increase for the distance I am away from him. And when I go inside for a second, you would think that He's getting stabbed by an army of feral dogs and brutally dying. Here, watch this. Watch. Just watch. Just watch. Oh, 
Did I scare you? See what I mean? I go in to change shorts and the man acts like I'm abandoning him forever. I could not abandon you, you sweet baby boy. You were way too cute for that. And if I gotta take care of you, I might as well exploit you for views on YouTube. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, buddy? All right, we're about to take the kitty around town. Got the box there that he is uh, afraid of. I'm sure this is gonna go really well. I'm gonna get him in the car before I start it because I know he's gonna freak out. <sighs> Come on, buddy. We're gonna go for a car ride. Don't freak out, please, or peace. New vehicle. Oh, oh, oh. All right, please don't freak out. Please don't freak out. Please don't jump out of here. No, 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 no. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay, no. Just stay in there, please. Don't freak out. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. That will do this. Nope. Oh, God. Please don't do that. Oh, God. This is going so well. I swear, if you like pee or something in here, where are you? Oh no, don't get stuck in my vehicle over there. What are you afraid of? If it all does. Or just go back in the box. Like good cats do. You hear that good cats like to hang out in boxes? Yeah, you freaking weirdo. Where'd you go? Are you under my seat now? Also, good cats don't mess with the driver's feet while the car is in motion. You hear that? Put your seatbelt on, cat. You better not be chewing any wires. Do cats chew wires? They scratch stuff. All right, bro, just stay right there. Is this what it feels like to have children in your back seat? Is this what adulting is like? Freaking out that the thing that you are in charge of is somehow causing damage and making a mess? I think that's what parenting is in a very, very subtle nutshell. At least while vehicles are in motion. Okay, buddy, I'm right here. Quit meowing, all right? We're gonna take care of you. I'm gonna take care of you. Okay, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. You wanted to ride back there. I had a box up here for you. Don't go under my seat. Don't mess with my feet. Oh God, he's gonna mess with my feet. It's gonna freak me out. All right, I know, big bump, scary ride. All right, I'm gonna try the next street over. See if anybody's even out. Here's somebody. Hey, excuse me, sir. You know of anybody that, that has cats or just had a litter of kittens? I just had a kitten come up to me and it's clearly under the care of somebody and you don't know either? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> have a good day. Hey, excuse me, sir. Do you uh, know, do you have a cat or know somebody that has a cat that had just had a bunch of kittens? I just had one come up to my house that's clearly been taken care of. I don't know where it came from. All right. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Well, damn, I have no idea what to do with this thing now. This live animal, which I now am responsible for. Where is the animal I'm responsible for? Hey, buddy, I need eyes on you. I need eyes on you. Where'd you go? Get out from under there. Dude, come here. Here. Fine, don't pee. Don't play with anything. Stay there. Alright, bro. Come on out. Hey. Car's done moving. Come on. You can't stay in there forever. Okay, it's time to get out of here. Come on. Are you stuck? Alright, I'm gonna back you out. Beep beep. Come here. Ooh, come here, little man. Ooh, I don't wanna hurt you. Come on. You can't stay underneath there. Let go. Alright. He hates me now. That's, that's, he's, he hates me now. Another phase of parenting accomplished. I do everything for the kid. I try to find him a house. I give him water. I love him. I exploit him for views on YouTube and all he does is just whine and says he hates me. Oh, the joys of parenting, am I right? Oh, uh, I hope Tristan answers the phone. Cause this little man seems like I am stuck with him now. Bro, I got, I don't know what to do with you. I know, it's a problem. Okay, again, you ran behind there and you can't see me and you're freaking out. It would behoove you to do that. There you go, see, all better. I'm still here, you dumb little, you dumb little thing. Okay, update. Uh, I just talked to the only guy I know that knows how to take referral cats. Again, this is not a feral cat. Uh, throwback on the channel, Johnny Rocket helped me out. Said I should put it in my bathtub. Got it, kitty litter. I have a little bed for it in there. He's in there making like dough, whatever the hell cats do. It's really cute, whatever it is. And it's said to feed a fish. So I have actually some redfish on my chop up for it. And uh, 
give it to eat. Um, again, I'm not a cat expert, but this is what I'm doing. Also, uh, five inch sword knife, like hunting knife. Hunting season's coming up. This knife is sick. This is one of my favorite products I've ever made. So, uh, but I was told, so you just cut it up into little teeny tiny pieces. Oh, the reason I'm feeding it now is uh, they said I should give it a bath too. I don't think it has fleas or, it definitely doesn't have ticks, I've checked it. But I'm gonna bribe it before I clean it off so he doesn't murder me. I'm only gonna give him a little bit, just a little piece of redfish. And they said this was okay. Again, I'm not a cat expert. I know some people are yelling at me probably for what I'm doing. I also looked on the internet, said it's okay to wash it with Dawn and a little bit of apple cider vinegar mix. I believe that because they have like a cute little duckling on the bottle to clean it off with oil. So a little bit of it is probably animal safe. I ain't going to douse him, but I'm just going to make sure he's like, you know, healthy before I send him on his way. I think that's enough, right? Need a little dish for him. All right. Let's see. I have this running just so he doesn't freak out when I turn it off. He's just hanging out in his bed. Hey, buddy. Hey, I got your food. Want some food? Look, I got food for you. You don't like fish? You live in Venice, Louisiana. Not interested? He says, F you, I'm tired. Oh my God, that's adorable. Sorry. He's purring, oh my gosh. Let him wrestle before his bath because he's gonna hate that. I'm sure. I'm let him have a little bit more relaxation. I guess I a little bit of water, some white noise, put him right to sleep. I don't know. I guess I'm having redfish for dinner now too. I guess I'll bake it. Why not? All right. A little bit of that. I'm so peacefully right now too. All right, buddy. I gotta do this for you. Don't hate me again. Gale Force twin shirt. I'm a nice guy. Okay. So what are you gonna do? You're not gonna use those freaking murder mittens and mess my day up and or bite me. Cause I'm nice. I'm trying to feed you. I'm trying to clean you. I'm gonna get a little cup and get on my way with it. All right, buddy. Don't hate me. He's looking at me like something's not gonna go his way. All right, buddy. Just be nice. Gonna be nice. We're just gonna get you nice and clean. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I know. I know. No, no, no. Hey, I'm just getting you clean. Just making sure you're clean, buddy. Hey, hey. Shh. Hey, you're all right. You're doing good. Hey, hey. You're doing good. You're doing great, even. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. Please don't claw me. You're doing so good, hey, hey. Hey, you're doing good. I'm just making sure you're clean, okay? You're gonna thank me later for this. I know you are. Hey, yep, yeah, just claw the cup, not me. I know, I know, buddy. You're doing so good. Look at that dirt on you. You look like a little rat, wet, wet rat. This is actually going a lot better than I thought. But he is very, very good. Little skinny man, huh? I know, I know. Watch out, close your eyes. Oh, you're such a good boy. This is what good dads do, I'm being a good father. You're going to appreciate it. Watch yourself, let me clean your little cut. Don't bite me, you ain't so good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, all right, all right. All right, yep, just hold on to that. I know, I know, oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pour it in your ears. I'm sure that's not a good thing to do. I didn't really put it in his ears, guys. Trust me. Let me show you. Butt's clean. Your tail's clean. Are you a boy or a girl? I don't know. I know, buddy. I know. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Shh. Hey, you're doing so good. Why stop now? Look how clean you're getting. Why no? Oh, don't, don't. No, you're thinking about it. We're going to drain. And then we're going to rinse you off in clean water.
Look at that dirt. It's not on you anymore. I'm gonna give you a quick rinse. Make sure there's no soap left on you. And then we're gonna dry you off. All right, buddy? I think you're a girl. Are you a girl? Um, oh, 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 hey, hey, hey. Oh no, oh no, he's loose, he's loose. Oh, I got him. Cat secured. I'm so glad you're not feral. This would be terrible. Let me touch your tail. You're so good. You're such a good kitty. Look at that little face. Little face, cute face. He's like, what have I gotten into? I started meowing at this man in hopes of food. He's not biting, which is good. He or she, she or he, him or it. All right, buddy. Oh, I didn't mean to bonk you there. Sorry. All right. You're done. You did it. All right, here you go, buddy. Oh, you're so precious. I know, I'm sorry. But I had to do it okay, buddy. You're like a little wet rat. But you're the cutest little wet rat I've ever seen. Just like your mom. I'm your mom right now, buddy. Oh, you're so much better. You smell so clean now. You're not dusty and dirty. Didn't have any fleas in there. Oh, you crying? I'm sorry, buddy. But you're so clean. See, this is why I didn't go fishing today. So I can make sure you're all right, bud. See, that wasn't that bad. Nicely done, buddy. You're a really good cat. I'm gonna get you a little blankie, I think. See, oh, that wasn't so bad. You all right, bud? He's like, what did I get myself into? I started meowing at this man, and now he thinks he's my father. We good? Nux. I'll take it. I think we're good. All right, uh, do a little halfsies right here, okay. Now you got a little, no, yeah, now you got a little fort. Maybe you don't want that. I mean, I can take it out if you want, dude. You seem a little confused. Maybe you don't like it on top of you. How about this? I'll give you a little halfsies. Maybe just a little corner. You can crawl under there if you really want to, all right? You did so good in the bathtub. Like, just model cat. Model citizen. Meow if you need me. Three times if you need water. I don't know. Surprisingly. My, my redfish is smelling good. I'm gonna have to uh, shoot. Oh God, it's a slippery slope. If I go buy cat food for it, it's a slippery slope of me paying a bunch of money for a cat that I don't need, nor can afford, or have a place for. I really hope Tristan takes his kitty. He's crying now. Oh, he's meowing me out three times. Yes, sir. What's going on? All right? You're good. You're all right, buddy. Oh, you're burning again. Good. Let's go to bed, huh? Hey. Hey. Where you at? Uh, going over to the levee. Uh, so you have another cat now. What? You, yeah, you have. You, you got another cat. What does it look like? It's really cute and it's really nice. He let me bathe him. He was just a, he's a good cat. He's a good young man. He's at uh, the lodge? He's at my place, yeah. Okay. I'll bring him to your place. Yeah, let me call Hannah, see, she, see what she thinks. It's coming to your house regardless. I'm bringing it over right now. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right, bye. Guys, check him out. He's chowing down. Look at him. You like that? The redfish I made for dinner was really good too. I'm glad you like it. No wonder you stopped me out. <laughs> nice. Is that good, buddy? Yep. Yeah. Good stuff? Yeah, it's good stuff. Yummy redfish. Nice. And we have a kitty update. Like I said, oh, hello. Like I said, my man's Tristan. Very tragically lost a kitten about a week ago. And Tristan and his girlfriend are gonna take him home. He's gonna be a happy guy. Isn't that right, kitty? And he's just being a good boy, exploring. This is not gonna be his full-time home. This is just Tristan's camp. So he's gonna go up the road with me tomorrow so I can meet his girlfriend. I am gonna miss the little guy. Start talking like bubbles. This. You guys know bubbles from a, a trailer park boys, right? Who taught the little kitten? I'm gonna get my kid a park. Doing a bubbles impression without saying the F word is very, very hard. Hey, look at that guy. He played at Tennessee for a little bit, but he was really immature and kind of a 
terrible player. But then he went to Florida, and apparently, by the sound of the people that play with him and knew him, he matured a lot. So that's good. And he's in the NFL, so he's one, you know, done the Super Bowl thing. I'm glad he's improved. But this little guy, this little guy, my little cat, kitten, kitty. Also, upon further investigation, I have found out that this is in fact a female. It's a good girl. It's just the goodest girl there was. It's hard to tell on cats, really. And then again, I ain't no veterinarian. I could be wrong. Oh, I know it's just a good kitty. Isn't that right, buddy? Oh, just right. Isn't that right? Oh, my fingers smell good. Oh, bless you. Guess not. Big job. Big job. You got it, buddy. Get it, girl. Actually, if you saw any yellows, you said I ain't go offshore. I was like, you weren't gonna tell me that you were on the boat. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> and there's his new papa, Tristan. Say hi, yeah. Tristan. How do you feel being a new father again? <laughs> yeah, kick him off. <laughs> so our magical journey has begun with my beautiful baby girl. Uncle Joe is gonna take you to a nice home. They're gonna like you a lot. But they're not gonna let you scratch their carpet like you were just doing to mine. Oh, oh, trying to escape. Gonna go in my lap again. She right in my lap, boy. Here, come right to me. Come right to Uncle Joe. No, nope. do not. Nope, not in the new leather. We have an hour to go. Okay. Can I make a? Can, I, can we make an agreement? Don't scratch anything in the vehicle. I forced you to shake my hand. Good kitty. Don't be cringe and scratch my leather. Oh golly. <laughs> Like I said, I'll let that one pass. That was your one slide. I set my center console. That's awfully cute. Dude, just hanging out with this thing for the last like 10 minutes. <laughs> I wish I was in a position to keep a cat because this cat's super chill. I'm not right, buddy. You're the chillest cat that ever was. Uncle Joe's going to get you to a nice home, though. Let me know where your other kinfolk are so I can find another one and maybe keep one. And then you guys could have play dates on the weekends if you guys are well behaved in school. I'll see you guys when something funny is happening or uh, I'm giving her to her new family. Okay, it is the next day. I did not film giving little kitty away to her mom just because I didn't want Hannah to feel like she needed to like be camera ready or anything like that. So I just gave her away. Very, very sad moment for me. I took a nice little picture with her and I plan on visiting her whenever I go back home to Jacksonville. But upon further investigation, evaluation of the cat, it definitely had been out for a while. It was away from home for a while. It just didn't have any like ticks or fleas or anything. But you could tell it had some battle scars, obviously the cut on the lip. Um, she had a broken tail. She has something wrong with the back of her leg. And you know, after two meals feeling its stomach and its weight, it was definitely uh, malnourished. And hadn't eaten in a long time and the amount of dirt that was on it etc so the cat had been lost for probably well over a week so i'm very very glad that she has a nice loving home now forever home very thankful for tristan and hannah being in a position to one take a cat and two committing to loving her so i'm glad i was able to uh, be a part of this journey with you i really miss the cat i uh, grew a little bit of a, an attachment to it um, and I'm going to miss a lot, but I hope to see it again soon. But uh, thank you guys for coming along this journey with me. Uh, obviously, very, very different kind of video uh, for my channel. But maybe one day if you find a cat to rescue, you kind of have a little base knowledge of what to do. And it feels good that I saved a little kitty's life and uh, I changed the animal's life forever. So it feels good. I miss it, but it feels good. But it's about to get crazy here in Venice. It is October, which means there's a lot of big fish around. There's been a lot of big fish caught. The fishing is very good. Um, so some really, really good stuff to end the season in Venice is coming up. So if big tunas tickle you fancy and big swatfish, we have a swordfish tournament coming up that we are going to fish. If that interests you at all, you might want to consider subscribing. Now, wouldn't you? I have a really, really bad subscriber to not subscriber ratio. It would mean a lot to me if you like the video and uh, subscribe. That'd be awesome. But looking forward to things to come thank you for coming along this journey with me and uh, watching this video especially if you're watching all the way to the end it means a lot to me and uh stay tuned then we got good stuff coming up and as always i love you guys and thank you very very much for watching see y'all soon